Hi, my name is Mr. Chu and it's good to see you in my study room. If today is your first time, then please consider subscribing to this channel for more videos. Our study for today is going to be solving word problems leading to quadratic equations. Thank you. Let's go to the lesson. The first question is the length of one side of a rectangular form is twice the length of the other. Its area is 162 square meters. What are the dimensions of the farm? With questions that talk about diagrams, it will be more appropriate to sketch the diagram so that you can visualize whatever you are doing very well. Then you can use that to do your calculation. So let me sketch the rectangular farm right now. The rectangular form only means that the form looks like a rectangle. So this is our form. The length of one side of the form is twice the length of the other. So that means that you are talking about two sides of the form, but then there is a relationship between them, just like I said in my other word problem videos. One side is shorter and the other side is longer. So if the shorter side is let's say x then twice that side is going to be 2x the question went ahead to say that the area is 162 square meters so we just have to use the formula for the area of a rectangle and the area of a rectangle is length times breadth or length times width the shorter side is either called width or breadth so if they give us the area we are just going to fix this information into it and so the area is 162 and the length which is the longer side is 2x the shorter side which is the breadth is x so they be multiplying this means that uh, 162 is going to be 2 x squared you are looking for the value of x and not 2 x squared so we divide both sides by the 2 to get rid of the coefficient of the x squared first so dividing 2 81 this will be 81 and this will be x squared that means our x squared equals 81 but we are not looking for x squared we are looking for x so just as we've noticed from the other videos on quadratic equation we either take the square root of both sides or we bring this one here and use difference of two square to solve. So I'm taking square root of both sides. So square root of x squared is going to give us plus or minus square root of 81. And this one will give us x equals plus or minus 9. Because square root of 81 is 9. That means my x equals... 9 or negative 9 but here we are talking about dimensions and we cannot measure dimensions in negative terms so we are going to pick the positive answer and since the question says we should find the dimensions of the farm we will say that therefore the dimensions of the farm are 9 meters by 18 meters Yes, I mean that the length of the farm is 18 meters and the width of the farm is 9 meters or the breadth is 9 meters. And you can see that when we multiply the two of them, when we put them into this, form, this formula, length times breadth, which is the area, is going to give us 162 square meters. Let's take another example. 
Question 2 is the width of a field is 5 meters less than its length. If the area is 204 square meters, find the dimensions of the field. So as usual, we are going to sketch the field here too. Yeah, they didn't tell us that the field is rectangular, but since they spoke about the length and the, the width, then obviously it will be a rectangle. So let's see the relationship between them now. The width of the field is 5 meters less than the length. So again, it means that there is a relationship between the length of the field and the width. So we don't need to use two different variables to represent the length and the width. But there's a relationship between them. If the length of the field is x meters, then the width is just going to be x minus 5. Because knowing algebraic expression, we say when the thing is less than, we subtract what number it is less than from it. So if the length is Five met, uh, is x meters, then the width which is 5 meters less than the length will be the length minus 5. So that's why you have that for the width. Then it went on to tell us the area. So again, this is a rectangle. So area of a rectangle is length times width. So we are just going to fix the information. The area is 204, the length is x, and the width is x minus 5. Then we solve the right hand side. 204 will be equal to x squared minus 5x. It's a quadratic equation, so we arrange it to have x squared 10 followed by x and then followed by 204. So we just move the 204 to the right hand side and equate it to zero. So our equation becomes x squared minus 5x minus 204 and this will be equal to zero. All right. Because we because I have other videos on different methods we can use to solve quadratic equations, I don't want to bother you with other methods of solving it again. So you can use any of the methods or your calculator. If you have any challenge with doing that, you can just go back and watch my other videos on how to solve quadratic equations. So when you solve it, you are going to get x being equal to either 17 or negative 12 when you solve the quadratic equation. And again, this is a dimension. So we don't expect to measure dimension in negative terms. When in measurement, a negative only means change in direction, but not your OE. So we are going to pick the positive number, which is the 17. So let's give that conclusion. Therefore, the dimensions of the field are 17 meters and 12 meters, or 17 meters by 12 meters. We go to another example. A woman is four times older than her daughter. Six years ago, the product of their ages was 136. Find their present ages. So two items here. The age of a woman and that of a daughter. And again, as usual, there's a relationship between the two ages. So we don't need to let one of them be X and the other one be Y. But rather, we should let one of them be a variable. Then we go ahead to tell the relationship between the two of them. 
and that relationship is with the fact that they said the woman is four times older than her daughter. That means if the daughter's age is X, then the woman's age will be four X. So let's write that. Good. Then that is not all the information given. They gave us the relationship between their ages six years ago. So let's see how old the woman was six years ago and how old the daughter was six years ago. So six years ago, the daughter will be her present age minus six years. So that will be And the woman's age six years ago obviously will be her age now minus six years. So yeah. So it's always advisable to write their ages as at that time that we can now establish the relationship between them. And that relationship is six years ago, the product of their ages was 136. That means the, the, the daughter's ages six years ago times the woman's ages six years ago should give us 136. So that's what we are going to do. That is. We are going to expand this and solve. So x times 4x could give us 4x squared. x times negative 6 will give us negative 6x. Negative 6 times 4x will give us negative 24x. Then negative 6 times negative 6 will give us positive 36. And this is equal to 136. We group like terms and arrange it as a quadratic equation. So that is going to give us 4x squared, negative 6x minus 24x to give us negative 30x plus 36. We bring this one here, we can minus 136 equal to zero. These are like terms, so four, x squared minus 30 x negative 36 minus 136 will give us negative 100 equal to zero there is a common factor so that we can reduce the, the numbers two can divide all of them so this is going to give us two x squared minus 15x minus 50 equal to 0. Again here, we need to solve this quadratic equation. But like I said earlier, I have a number of videos on how to solve quadratic equation using different methods. So if this is going to be a challenge for you, you can just go back and watch one of them and you'll be fine. But then... Once again, you can use the calculator too. So when you use the calculator to solve this equation, you are going to get your x to be 10 or negative 5 over 2. And again, we are talking about the ages of human beings. So we cannot be writing negative ages. We pick the positive one. So if our x is 10 it means that the daughter's age now the daughter's age now is 10 years because that is x and the woman's age now is 4 times 10 which is 40 years and then we can go back and fix that into the equation so six years ago it means that the woman the first of all the daughter was four years old and six years ago, the woman was 
4 times 10, 40 minus 6, 34 years old. And when you multiply the 2, 34 times 4, you will see that you are going to get 136. So it means the woman is 40 years old and the daughter is 10 years old. All right, so this is where we end today's study on word problems leading to quadratic equations. I hope this study was helpful to you when it comes to solving problems, word problems. If yes, then I want to encourage you to like, share with friends, and more importantly, subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you for making time with me and see you again. Bye-bye.